30. Catch one. Okay. And the last one was 34. Okay. Let's bring all those together again. And they could do them in the same order. 26. 30. Six one. Twenty six one. Thirty dash one, is that right? Yeah. And thirty four. What do you think? Okay, see so those are the, all three of them. Force displacement response as recycling. The displacements are the same, but the forces are all different, right? As the cycle goes around. Now those are just the base shears based on whatever the moments are, not just the plastic moments, but whatever the moments are to the two moments. Top and bottom, the force goes plastic divided by the length. That's what this should be. So let's try this again. File, uh, print table, file. Uh, force displacement dash cyclic dash time. Okay. Let's go to Excel. <coughs> So what do we need from here? This is time. We don't need that of an average body force or something. So we need these, right? I'll copy it over the other one. I want to plot it on top of that other one, the monotone. Okay, special. I'll just put it in values. And then... Uh, this equation, put it here. So that should be sum of J, K, and L. Okay. Copy that all the way to the bottom. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go over here and add those. This is the x value, this is the displacement. <coughs> it's got to be this one, right? And then this is the force value, 31. Let's go back. This one. Not bad. Okay. So what you're seeing is the blue one is the monotonic, and then this is as recycling. And the reason that it uh, looks like this is we selected in SAP isotropic hardening, which is what it does look like. You know, isotropic hardening, as you go out, it increases uh, the forces as you're looping around rather than other types of concerns you may hear. If you go over here and look at uh, define section hinges, modify, and then the isotropic hardening. So that's the classic material behavior for us. Do a stress strain of, of steel and isotropic, it'll cycle out and get larger as you go. And we could have picked other ones, we haven't done yet. It's ki uh, kinematic hardening, which is a different type of uh, stress strain rule or force displacement or moment rotation. Uh, Takeda is a famous uh, uh, force displacement or moment rotation rule developed uh, by Takeda back in 1970. And then the only other choice is a pivot model, which I we haven't used that yet. So that's actually more real, a realistic for reinforcements. It wasn't done in 1970. But Takeda's is famous. Um, so let's get out of here. Let's make this plot look a little nicer.
Oh, you have to click on it. Yeah. So I used to just put it in next style. I want to add axes. Horizontal. this line around here. So in the format chart area it's a triangle. Border, a color, and a line. And then I put a line on this one. <coughs> Solid line, black. So anyway, you can see the blue is kind of yeah, the monotonic is here and then the cyclic is, is there. So this is the total force versus displacement uh, for the structure. This is how it responds based on what we told it about the moment of taking response at each inch. We gave it five plastic hinges and one real pin, right? And all we did was we took it, and you can see it did what we asked it to do, right? We pulled it, we displaced it, and then we pushed it further each direction and gave it larger as it went. This just characterizes the overall, not just monotonic, but the cyclic, but the hysteretic behavior of our frame when we're alive. Right. Um, the actual moment rotation response is reinforced concrete. We'll 